Good morning, everybody. Got day two with Dustin and his pop. Checked out the surf. We're going to try to do offshore this morning. But best we could tell in the dark. It's a little rougher than we wanted to try. So why I fight it? We got some great base stuff over here. So we're going to head over to one of my favorite spots. I throw some top water and whatnot. I'm tired of you watching 30 miles out and I'm half awake. Good morning, people. today with it being Dustin's birthday and all we got to get him on some fish what you reading on your sonar about three feet mm -hmm. lots of grass yep sitting on a big grass bed right now today's your birthday Today's my birthday. All right, man. Happy birthday. How old are we? 32. 19? 32. 32. <laughs> Legal drinking age. Let's do it. Go trout. All right, there's a trout. Maybe we found him. Finally hit the magic depth right here, maybe. Alright folks, looks like Dustin hung one. What in the world is it? Is it red? What are you throwing? Gulp? Gulp jerk shad, baby. Oh, beautiful. Good looking fish. That's a beast. That'll work. 20, almost 26. Heck yeah. Let me see what you caught him on. Redfish. Caught him on a sapphire shine, five inch jerk shad. Let me see that jerk shad. Yeah. Corkscrew. Right. Still got your pin, pin oh, yeah. battle too. Oh yeah. So I'm actually throwing the same thing and we're having trouble with the blowfish and everything else eating them, but. Man, they got a lot of steak to them, boy. Everything loves to eat them. Hey, here we go. Fish on. Fish on. I made a cast and slam. That's a nice fish. Oh, it's another red too, bro. We're doing a lot of blind casting all over the salt flat. But when we see a pothole like this, we throw into the hole and drag it across the edge of the grass. Predators seem to be hanging right on the grass edge. Yep, throwing the edge of the sandbar. Jerk shad wins again. Looks like they're a little thicker back here. Oh man, he's just under 20, bro. Thought I had some more redfish with Dustin's mama, but I guess not. Oh, look, you got two spots on the back of the tail. He's just under 20. Gotta go back. Well, I think we made a good decision not going into the gulf this morning. It was looking a little iffy, but the wind's picked up. It was supposed to stay eight, but it's picked up to like 12. So I think the gulf got even worse. I made a good decision coming into the flats, working the edges of the potholes in the grass flats. Top water bite has not been on at all this morning. Let's keep on trucking. Got another one. 
Dang it, I couldn't get my camera on in time. But this fish was pulling dust and all over. I thought it was a big red. Big? What? <laughs> What's he gonna get? Jerk shad again. Same jerk shad. Same color. I'm down to my last one. Got one more. Look at that guy. Wow. Man. Man, that is awesome. Good job. And the rod's a little too heavy, so I paired it up with something a little bit lighter. That's a pin battle to what, what size? It's the uh, 3,000. 3,000? Nice. They're in close, man. That smack and those two reds. Yeah. Like 30, 20 yards off the bank. Foot and a half. Wow. The vibe of the morning felt great. It felt like we somewhat had them dialed in. So we'll just keep pressing east. Big trout right there. Check out this trout sitting in the small pothole. Oh man. There's a trout sitting in that hole. Hope I got that on camera. That trout was right there in that little hole. Anyway, they're close to the bank, man, like 20 yards. That was awesome. We're gonna take a little beach break. A lot of times midway through our morning trip, I enjoy sliding up on the beach and taking a little back break. Stretching out, getting a little something to eat and drink, and just making a new strategy. There you go. That's it. Completely weedless setup. Alright, now, we're going to catch a lot of grass. Yeah. All right, break time's over. So we're gonna keep pushing up into this east wind. Fish off, all these fish are in 15 yards to 30 yards off the bank. So they're anywhere from a foot and a half to three foot of water. They're really shallow right now. So let's keep on with the same pattern. In the pothole. standing and throwing I thought I'd show you all the perspective I have when I'm standing what I can see I see a lot more man it's pretty awesome there you go standing and chunking all the way back you can see the potholes better and make better cast standing it's awesome so I took this little bitty jig head, see that little dude? Tiny, put a little piece of gulp on him, just bit off a little piece. I caught this guy. <laughs> Something just smacked my, my pin fish. I was using a tiny hook and a piece of gulp to catch pins and I was floating one behind me with a bobber and something just whacked it. Leader, not expecting that. <laughs> That's awesome. I just accidentally. Big rib. Yes. Dragging a live bait behind us while throwing artificial in front of us is a trick that Teresa developed when we were in the Keys. Ooh, that's a chunky redfish. Here, bro. 21. There we go. 
go. Big trout, two two reds and a big trout, huh? Yep. Not too shabby. You had a good time today? Yeah. yeah, it's been fun. It's almost like we should spend a little time catching those pins and dragging them the whole Just time. <laughs> Well, it's time to take it on back in. I've been watching this guy wade fishing all morning. I thought I'd cruise by and talk to him a little bit. I've been seeing him catch a lot of fish. All right, I got Jess out here. He's been wading all morning. I've been watching him kill the flounder. What you been getting those flounder on, Jess? Uh, gulp alive shrimp, mostly. The yeah. uh, purple chartreuse tail. Uh, the brown chartreuse tail, yeah. That right there. Yeah, just on an eight ounce jig head. Nice. And uh, popping cork earlier. So, popping cork? Mm -hmm. With the uh, gulp alive under it. Yeah. Have to come out here and wade, do an episode wading. <laughs> what? Well, Dustin, thanks a lot for coming fishing with us. Blast. Enjoyed it, man. Once again, yet another awesome day on the grass flats in Pensacola, Florida. You know, we threw a lot of top water early. It just wasn't working out. Nothing was blowing up. But as soon as we went to the gulp and a jig head and working the edges of the potholes, we started hooking up. Once again, a big key to what we were doing was fishing into the wind all morning and then we were able to stand and drift back and throw the edges of the potholes. We had a great time. Don't forget to subscribe and like and we'll catch y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. That's it. We'll see y'all later. What?